Hey, what's going on guys? Today we're going to be making a video about Windows XP. We're going to see how we can use it here in 2020. So let's go ahead and talk about it. Now most people, if you're going to install it for some reason, you're going to install it in a virtual machine. You probably don't have your old Windows XP computer anymore. So we're going to go ahead and open this thing up in a virtual machine. Now the good news about installing this on a modern machine is, well, everything is blazing fast. Windows XP, it didn't have the highest system requirements in the world. When you actually set this thing up on VirtualBox, it only recommends like 10 gigs of storage and 190 megabytes of RAM, I think is what it was. So if you give this thing a lot of storage and a lot of RAM, I mean, it's lightning fast. Everything opens so quickly. I mean, you can't even think or what you want to do next because you're just flying through everything. So here we are on that desktop with that very well-known picture here. Now we're actually running on Windows XP Home and I believe this is the Service Pack uh, 2. Now honestly, can you use it in 2020? Barely. Um, don't even try to browse the web because, well, the only website you're going to be able to go to is Google and that's literally it. Uh, you can't do much else. You can't even go to Microsoft's own website. Let's see if we can even go to Apple. Look how old the Google page is. So yeah, I can't even do that. Uh, can't even go to Microsoft.com. I mean, it's pretty bad. So if you wanted to attempt to actually use the web browser on here, uh, you would have to install, you know, through a shared folder or something you'd have to install an older version of Firefox or something like that in order to use the web. But because this is so vulnerable to viruses and malware and other things like that and it doesn't receive security updates, you know, there it's probably not the best idea to actually browse the web. Another thing is with activation. So you get that little activation prompt and it's going to pop up here but the problem is, well, you can't even activate it because, well, the activation servers are no longer in existence. So I've seen people actually activate this through uh, the phone. So you can dial a number and activate it that way. I never tried that, but honestly, it's not even worth it. But you do only have 30 days of use if you do not activate it. Let's just go through some of these old things here. So we have MSN, Media Player, Windows Messenger, the good old fashioned control panel. I really love these old icons. They look so cool. Of course, we have all of the great games that we spent many hours on. And here's a good one, Minesweeper. Everybody loves Minesweeper. The other great game everybody loves is the 3D Pinball. So. I mean, this is honestly the only reason why I downloaded this virtual machine, so I could play this game. Uh, do I remember which ones it was? Yes, it is Z and the backslash. So you just, <laughs> this game right here, can't tell you how many hours we're spent in this game. Well, yeah, guys, I mean, there's really not much else to talk about with Windows XP. It, it's pretty unusable today. Like I said, if you tried to use it, I think you actually could, barely, but you would have to install you know, a different browser, definitely, um, some very serious antivirus software. But most of the time, you know, when people are using it today, they're using it just for fun or like a throwback or something like that. I mean, it is cool to see all this old stuff like Outlook and the old Internet Explorer and all that, but it's pretty unusable. I mean, that's just how it is. Things get old, they get unsupported, but it's still cool to kind of play around with this and see things, but <laughs> it would be kind of cool if it was still good because, you know, this thing is so fast. I mean, this is the fastest virtual machine I've ever used because of, you know, just the low spec requirements. How about some of these old screensavers? Does anybody remember any of these? 
I know I remember these. This is probably my favorite one right here. The pipes. Yeah. <laughs> but anyways, guys, just kind of a throwback, kind of just talking about it a little bit. Like I said, there's really no reason to use this in 2020 unless you just want to have some fun or have a little throwback or something like that. But yeah, them old wallpapers. I mean, old screensavers are cool, and so are the old wallpapers. Check out some of these. I remember this one right here. I always had it. I don't know why, but I did. There we go. Look at that. Also, the guest editions actually do work still in this. You can have the virtual box guest editions. And you may have to actually mess with your internet settings, your network settings, and uh, the virtual box because it can get a little messed up sometimes and actually not function properly. So, yeah. But that is pretty much Windows XP in 2020. Just for fun is basically the verdict here. Definitely can't use this as your only software in 2020. But anyways, guys, that's all I got for you today. I'm going to have some more different content uh, coming next week. But, but anyways, that's all I got for you today. Thanks for watching as always. Be sure to click that subscribe button. I'll catch you all in the next video.